Hey guys, let's quickly talk about uh, the way to represent isotopes and there are really two ways to do it using the hyphen notation or the nuclear symbol. I'm using carbon-14 as an example. So if you look, um, you have the name of the element, a hyphen, and then the 14. So 14 is called the mass number. So you have mass number. which is basically the sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of the atom, right? So it's essentially the number of particles in the nucleus of the atom. So carbon-14. Um, you're not given the atomic number or the number of protons, but you can easily look that up in the periodic table and find that carbon is 6. So, um, that's the hyphen notation. Of course, if you want to figure out the number of neutrons, then you would take the 14, look up the number of protons or the atomic number in the periodic table, and subtract. So, of course, um, since the protons are 6, the neutrons have to be 8, and that adds up to 14. The nuclear symbol makes it even easier. You don't need to use the periodic table. It gives you the mass number on top, the 14, right there, and it gives you the atomic number, which is the number of protons, right? So you know right away that you have six protons, and then to figure out the number of neutrons, all you would do is subtract 14 minus six, which would then give you eight. So the nuclear symbol, you only use the symbol of the isotope or of the element the isotopes for. So this is an isotope of carbon, so C. And then mass number on top, atomic number on the bottom. So that's the number of protons. 14 minus 6 is 8, which gives you the number of neutrons. There you have it. Two ways to represent isotopes.